<coughs> hey mom, what is this thing? I don't know. What is that thing? Uh, I don't know. Ant. It's an ant. I don't know what it is. Can you hold it up? Maybe others might know. Huh? Is What's it, that? Uh... What's that? Is it soon some? Really? Cool. Whoa. Let me just okay. put this right here. This is Productive Mommy here with Productive Will, right? Yep. And just Kid. checking in. Today we're going to talk about. What are you talking about? Okay. Parent worry. Yes, mine wants to talk about parent worry. I tend to be full of it, even though of worry, not other stuff. <laughs> uh, even though the Bible tells me not to worry and tells us not to be afraid and all of that, uh, I find that um, I'm learning actually that we just live in a culture of fear. It tells you just like you need to be afraid and you're an idiot if you're not afraid because something bad's going to happen and you need to try to control everything. And so it's just been. Um, Really, <laughs> <laughs> a blessing. Um, careful, well, don't shake the camera. To um, just just kind of be hearing from the Lord about the fact that you know, that's the great thing about being a Christian and being a Christian parent is that um, right, we don't have to fear. And so I was, oh, there goes my scripture. I had a couple of scriptures I wanted to share about that. So one of them says, um, it's Matthew 6, 27, can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? And of course the answer is no. And so it says, you know, why, why are you worrying, right? Your worry doesn't do any good. Um, and of course I've been worried, particularly lately, just about um, our family and my children growing up and what feels like a climate that is less, um, less accepting of my kiddos because they're half me. <laughs> Uh, I try to put it gently with my kiddo here, uh, and a word where it, I'm concerned about safety and and all of that, and and feeling kind of sad because I feel like you know, I'm 40, and it feels at the moment like things aren't better than they were 40 years ago, even though in reality they are, right? But if you here, especially from certain politicians, you know, it isn't, uh, and certain people having conversations about certain people, sure it isn't. So yeah, you can share. Huh? Okay. So, parent worry is, my mom is afraid of spiders, and she's, um, yes. she's sometimes afraid of worms. Yes, but I did Pinging pick a couple up off. the other day. I picked a couple small ones up the other day. Jenny, I'll pick you up, because you can't, you're not tall enough with, or Will can pick you up. Yeah, hi. There's Jenny. Her freshly, beautiful, freshly hair. Um, so... Uh, so yeah, it's just been really kind of thinking about that. Oh, I right, let me pick you up. Mommy, it's focusing. Let me pick Mom, it up. it's focusing. Mm -hmm. It is. Uh, just like you are. looking in the mirror. It is looking oh. in the mirror. Um, so, and what's interesting about worry and fear, which I have a script about fear, uh, is it takes away from the joy of these moments right here, right? Oh, uh, just these wonderful kids of ours. Funny and fun time. Mom, I think it's choking. Okay, maybe just go a little bit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't get any joy because of worry. Hey. upstairs they were getting a little crazy being on camera so I was like I do actually want to finish this up so um yeah just really kind of thinking a lot about worrying and trying to deal with that and about fear um because it's just I think as a parent we're probably more prone to fear than we are when we don't have kiddos right like it's just like it's not you know things aren't too bad or it's not a big deal because it's just about you and then you have your kiddos and you're concerned about them and so um, that's been something that I'm dealing with and my husband too. And, um, so just another verse I was going to read was just, um, Joshua 
chapter 1, verse 9, which is, Have I not commanded you, <coughs> be strong and of good courage, do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And so that really has encouraged me. And just a reminder that, you know, and again, this is about faith too, that, you know, faith is the belief in what we don't see, right? We don't use our eyes to walk by faith. We don't use our senses, so to speak, to walk by faith. We, and we certainly don't trust what we're seeing and hearing because there's just so much, again, of this um, really using fear to motivate people this way or that way, um, whether it's uh, something that is real or not. And uh, one of the books I'm reading um, with the, uh, the overscheduled child talks about that, that there's, um, there are people who are, you know, there are legitimate companies in life, but they make money by making us afraid for our kids, right? If we don't have this particular car seat, if we don't, when they're babies, if we don't put them in this particular class or don't start them on some kind of early learning track, you know, they're going to fail and their lives are going to be terrible and it's going to be our fault. So you better do this, you better do this, you better do this. Um, and that book advocates like slowing down and doing less and that your children benefit actually from just being kids and just being with you and not being scheduled for all the stuff that's supposed to make their, their lives better when they're 20, 30, 40. Um, so that's been a blessing. And then, um, so just trying to be less afraid about that, but then also just trying to be less afraid about what seems to be going on uh, that's just so heavy and burdensome and worrisome. I've been watching the news much less than I used to, and, and I um, love being informed and love knowing about what's going on, but it's just been... Uh, made my heart really heavy uh, with what's going on and particularly with politics and and uh, race relations and that kind of thing and, and uh, feeling worried because feeling like oh my kids are going to be at a disadvantage because their mother's black and that's a sad thing to think of or they might be killed right one of them might be killed by a police officer or someone who thinks that they're suspicious because their mother's black right no other reason and I think any parent, any mother, uh, would feel saddened, right, to think that there's something that society would see because of you as a mom would be a negative and, and a detriment to your child. It just, oh, it really breaks my heart. And I know, though, um, that I need to trust the Lord about that because I don't know what the future holds, right? And I don't know. And I know that the Lord takes everything, um, even what someone else might try to do right for evil and makes it work out good for those who love the Lord and my children are learning to love the Lord right now so praise God for that and and of course I know what I give to my children is it's valuable and and um, it's a blessing it's just sad to think that um, there are people in society who would say well his mom's black her mother's black you know then there's something wrong right and they're not trustworthy or they're not that smart or they're not this or they're not that because of, of half their heritage and that yeah it breaks my heart and it makes it my heart heavy um, but praise the Lord that we have the Lord as parents whatever it is that you worry about or you're concerned about or society uh, um, is getting worked up about the news is getting worked up about we have the Lord and we can take those worries and those fears to the Lord and, and lay them at the altar and so I have to do that daily <laughs> Uh, so this is kind of a long one, I guess, but I just wanted to share that because it's just something that I, I know we all deal with, with worry and concern for our kiddos and wanting the best for them and wanting to equip them with the best and and um, being unsure if we really are and coupling that with what's going on and the news and, and all of that can be, um, no matter what your ethnicity or, or background or anything, can be really heavy and, and hard. So uh, this is Productive Mommy signing off and I uh, hope you... Click like and subscribe and uh, follow me on Facebook and help me share uh, your thoughts about uh, parenting and what seems like a climate of fear and worry and parenting particularly as a Christian and trying to uh, apply what you learn um, uh, from the Bible and, and, and like to to your parenting experience. So thanks so much and hope to talk to you again.